how to choose the best servo voltage stabilizer manufacturer. A servo voltage stabilizer plays a vital role in the distribution system as it directly impacts the end user. For capacity of 1000 kV and above, a wrong decision can lead to a loss of estimatingly 7000 US dollars. So do you have the clarity to make the right decision? This is Sushant Gupta from Recons Power and in this video let us zero down all those important aspects that go in the consideration while purchasing a servo voltage stabilizer from a genuine manufacturer. First thing to notice is the infrastructure. Nothing can befool what you see. So it is recommended to do a factory inspection before you decide to place any order. Take inventory of all the manufacturing and testing facilities available with the manufacturer. Are the basic necessities and facilities available in the factory that has to be inspected by yourself? Are the manufacturing facilities like winding machines, coarse litting, fabrication shop, paint shop, oil filtration machine, oven, overhead cranes, wire drawing plant are available in the factory or not? This has to be checked thoroughly. Is the testing lab equipped with latest calibrated and certified instruments like oscilloscope, DVDF, ratio meter, power analyzer, multimeter and various other instruments that are crucial for the testing lab. Check for the date of calibration. It should not be older than one year. In case you are at a distance location and you would like to decide all these parameters remotely, you can take into account of the online presence of that manufacturer along with its reviews, photographs, videos that speaks about the manufacturer's facility and the product range available with them. And you may ask the manufacturer to submit you the list of plant, machinery and the testing facility along with proof of invoice copies for authentication purpose. After this, you need to ensure whether the manufacturer is a process-driven company or not, as processes defines professionalism of an organization. Are there any procedures and processes defined by the manufacturer for various operational activities? Is there any standard operating procedure or quality assurance plan provided by the manufacturer for its manufacturing and quality checks? Is the manufacturer having any flow charts for various processes? If these all are not available with the manufacturer, then you are surely inviting a trouble and it might lead you to some unfortunate and unforgettable experience dealing with an unorganized company. Before considering any manufacturer, you must also consider whether the capability of delivering you with the customized solution is available with the manufacturer or not. In case of a servo voltage stabilizer, at many sites, there is a need for controlling an unbalanced input voltage and for many sensitive locations like banks, hospitals and data centers, we need to install an air-cooled servo voltage stabilizer instead of an oil-cooled servo voltage stabilizer. Along with this, some special features and accessories are required in a servo voltage stabilizer to probably monitor and control the electrical power. So the question lies here is whether your vendor is capable of providing such customized solution to you as per your need or not. Rome was not built in a day. Similarly, the experience of a manufacturer is nurtured with ages. These equipments are not like electronic consumables which keep on updating every second year and a buyer also tends to replace it within two to three years of purchase. These are high value electrical power equipments which are going to support your electrical power needs for 20 years at least or maybe more. One should not consider making a mistake of choosing an amateur manufacturer 
with merely an experience of two to five years in manufacturing. As these electrical equipments go for a real test on site at least after five years of facing various electrical conditions. So do validate the organization's overall experience in this line of business. Don't just go by the owner's personal experience as it is the experience of people, manufacturing processes and the services that are provided by a company that really matters. So the next question that might arise in your mind is how to gauge the experience of a manufacturer. First thing that you need to establish is the company's year of inception. For this, you can ask for the certificate of inception and you can also authentically cross-check for its inception by asking for the registration number and logging it on the relevant government portal. Secondly, you need to take into account whether the manufacturing company has a divert clientele as that would establish the fact whether the manufacturing standards have qualified various applications and needs over the period of time. Also cross-check whether the installations are area specific or is it widely spread across various regions and nations. A credibility check of the manufacturer's clientele is a must as at many situations fake claims of installations are also made just to gain weightage. For this purpose, you can randomly cross-check with the clients for the product performance and the number of years it has been in working condition. Third and the most important aspect that needs to be crucially examined is whether the transformer manufacturer is agile with the latest standards and norms. Since one standard and norm can't fit all the requirements, so we have to judge whether the standards and the norms followed by the manufacturer is compatible with the region and nation where the transformer has to be installed. For this you need to ensure that the transformer manufacturer is backed by genuine certificates and documentation to ensure the authenticity of the transformer supplied by the manufacturer. Here we are not discussing about any ISO or other certificates these are mostly process oriented certifications. A transform manufacturer needs to have a special type test reports or certificates with them. These certifications are provided by some special labs which are authenticated by government authorities. On successfully passing all the type tests, a manufacturer receives a type test reports from these agencies which are further certified by separate government authorities like BIS in case of India, UL, CE, Bureau of Veritas, SGS in case of international standards to qualify a transformer as being energy efficient. Do cross check for the authenticity of these certificates with a manufacturer. While on your visit to the company or any manufacturer, ask for the original certificates. Not everyone, but there are some players in the market who are game spoilers and can produce even a fabricated certificate just to support their claim. Also to just cross check whether these certificates are original or not, there are certain web portals authenticated by the government bodies itself which certify whether manufacturer is genuinely registered with them or not and whether they are qualified as being an energy efficient transform manufacturer or not. Evaluate the production capacity of a servo voltage stabilizer manufacturer. It should be somewhere above 80 MVA per annum. Get details of the maximum capacity of the servo voltage stabilizer manufactured by the manufacturer so far and the highest capacity to which a manufacturer can go. In case of servo voltage stabilizer, at least 4 MVA in 11 kV voltage class should have been manufactured and successfully supplied to a customer by the manufacturer. To qualify this criteria, a servo voltage stabilizer manufacturer should have a state-of-the-art manufacturing facility. Take note of this important aspect while you go for a servo voltage stabilizer manufacturer for your requirement. Another crucial aspect to examine is the raw material that is used for manufacturing. Essentially, there are four types of raw material that are used for manufacturing purposes. First one is the conductor, then comes core, then comes oil and lastly the insulating material. To check whether the conductor used is of pure electrolytic grade 
nature with a purity standard of 99% and above, you need to ask for a test certificate and a bill of purchase available with the manufacturer. Similarly, in case of core, it has to be a cold rolled grain oriented core and it has to be cross checked for the test certificates and the bill of purchase available from the mill from where the core has been outsourced. For oil, one should check for the genuine brand of mineral oil used by the manufacturer. Lastly, the insulating material should be cross checked with the genuine test certificate to ensure all electrical parameters are met by the electrical insulating material. These key raw materials are essential to be verified as any inferior quality of these can directly impact the life and performance of an equipment. Next aspect is the much talked about quality which always goes in discussion between a buyer and a supplier before finalization of any order. It is a byproduct. No buyer or supplier would agree to buy or supply an inferior product for the sake of a low price. You need to ensure that the procedure for quality management are well documented in order by the manufacturer. Refer the documentary proofs like quality assurance plan, guarantee technical parameters, quality certificates, type test reports, routine checklist and other documentary proof which support the quality and surety at the manufacturer's end. These documents would reveal all the minute details that go in the manufacturing and the designing at the manufacturer's end, like from losses, bill of quantities to the make of the materials that are being used at the manufacturer's end. With all that we have discussed so far, it is obvious to make a comparison when it comes to finalizing these high value capital equipments. An apple to apple comparison is required when we are finalizing such equipments. But the question that lies here is how to do it. Always while comparing, have three or more manufacturers in the list. To hit the bullseye, make a comparative sheet of all the points told so far and compare between all the shortlisted vendors. At last, you must take into absolute consideration whether a manufacturer is offering any value addition against your purchase decision. Is there any return of investment that is assured by a manufacturer against your purchase? Are there any calculations shown by the manufacturer that claim for the return of investment by means of energy saving by the equipment and if so, in what time span does the manufacturer claim it to be? Now, when you make a price comparison between two or more manufacturers, it can range from anywhere right from 5% to 35%. But the energy saving can be up to a difference of 57%. Now the question again lies how to make the right decision. A good product can never be cheap. So one must always compare the cost of ownership over the buying price. Also, a hefty discount offered by a manufacturer during negotiations is a skeptical situation. In general, for these equipments, anything between 10 to 15 percent is a range that goes into negotiation. Also, you must remember these equipments go in service for more than 20 years. So you cannot go wrong while making a decision on purchasing of such equipments. I hope these tips help you in making the right decision. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. For more information, you can write in to us on mail at reconsigner.com or you can drop in a comment below. Thanks again for watching the video.